Uh, one player who's in Spain and they're looking to get and it looks like they just might and then they won't have to worry too much in this position in defence is uh, Jules Koundé. Everything for Koundé right now. The word is that Barcelona and Sevilla have reached an agreement for him and they've got the terms agreed with this one as well. It's a lot of money as well. An offer that Sevilla could not refuse, 50 million plus another 10 in variables uh, euros is what's being reported. Obviously Chelsea are in for this player as well. Well they've got a lot of money in Barcelona haven't they? Somehow they've managed now, to... Now they have. You know, they've sold a few more. <laughs> How they doing so, it? Well they've got some teapots. They're having a tag sale outside the next week done as well but you know selling these yeah, TV I'm rights me. and stuff but I don't know. But money aside Koundé is Money that aside. He's a good player. We know he's a good player. Aside. And he's ideal if you want to play with a, a three centre backs at times. If you want a centre back that can go into a right back position, uh, he does the sort of thing that Aspili uh, can do. And there, it was Aspili wanted to go to Barcelona, so it looks as though that could scupper that. But I think Kunde's a good player. He's aggressive, although he's not particularly big. He's got good spring. Uh, and he can come out with the ball, a good all-round defender and player. Yeah, and he's a lot younger than Aspilicueta, and he'll get up and down. And, and, you know, the question is, Chelsea, Barcelona, Premier League, great league to play in, living in London, against a great club, obviously, had their issues. But then you, you listen to the pathetic comments from Thomas Tuchel in the last 24 hours, mm. and then you think to yourself, oh, that's, just, that's you know what I mean, don't want to... Don't want to go there and, and work with that at the moment. He's saying we're not even ready for the start of the season. We haven't got a striker. They've just brought in Lewandowski. You know, there's still some big players there. So, you know, if Barcelona come up with the cash, I think Kunde would have every right to go to that mm. club. Don, we've been asking on the show, who needs him more, Chelsea or Barcelona? Chelsea, I think. I think they're, they're struggling for bodies. They're struggling for, for good quality centre-backs as well. And there's too many players that have left. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean... Jules Kunde is an upgrade on Aspilicueta. If he goes to Barca, he's an upgrade on Andreas Christensen, Eric Garcia. He's better what they've got. But I just think if you're Chelsea and you're Thomas Tuchel now and you're speaking to Todd Bowley and you go, if it's a 50-50 fight between Barca and Chelsea, you're saying to Todd Bowley, get him to Chelsea. Pay what you need to pay him. Pay him the money. Pay him the salary. Pay the transfer fee. We need him. Otherwise, we could be struggling for top four. That's how desperate I think Chelsea fans have seen it, especially off the back of that 4-0 loss against Arsenal. I think from Aspilicueta's point of view, it depends what Thomas Tuchel does and who the hell knows at this point. But if he goes with a back four or a back three, it's, in my opinion, it's Rhys James. Yes, he prefers Rhys James now. No, I know he's played as a right-sided centre-back and, and that could be the case with the problems that Don mentioned there with Koulibaly, Thiago Silva and one other. Uh, but maybe if he goes to a back four and he's thinking about a change of system with no real natural striker, then... It's going to be Rhys James, so Aspilicueta's playing time is going to be uh, diminishing. Maybe that's why, and maybe he's seen that unfolding yeah. and thinks, I really need to get this move to Barca because my game time here is expiring. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.